Hi there everyone, it's Gloria Kramer from Oakville, Canada, and here is our second card for the Penguin Place um, card class. So this is a fun fold card, and it folds flat to fit into a regular size envelope. So let's get started. If you have one of my kits for this class, then everything is sort of pre-cut, pre-scored for you. And all you have to do is stamp and assemble. So let's get started. You will need these two inks for this card, as well as an orange. So I used the pumpkin pie. So let's get started. I'm gonna make my screen a little smaller and I'm gonna try to center this like that. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna put this card on the side. We have this piece here. We're gonna glue this down first. You can use the debossed or the embossed side. I'm gonna use the embossed. If you hear noise in the background, it's, it's from my dog chewing on his toy. He actually just came back from a walk. Usually they nap, but the little one is, has decided that now is a good time to chew on his toy. So, now when you get this card, you're going to fold it like this. This piece of DSP from Penguin Playmates is going to go on this side. And then your inside white piece is going to go right there. So let's add those on. And we're going to leave a one-eighth of an bo inch border all around. And I just sort of eyeball it. have this strip over here. I'm just going to put that up here out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our strips on. So the previous card that we did was also a birthday card, and this one is as well. Uh, the next two cards that we're going to make using this set will be Christmas cards, just so you can see the versatility of this stamp set. And this DSP, for that matter. It works just as well for Christmas cards as it does for birthday cards. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to sort 
So I line up my strip here and I'm going to take a pencil. So I have it lined up to the, so line it up to your edge, turn it around and just do a light pencil mark along there so that you know where you need to put the adhesive. So we're going to put the adhesive on this piece here. So the piece on the end and then the piece over here that we've drawn to the pencil line. down and I'm just gonna lay my card flat like this so and when you lay it lay it flat you know that when it closes and goes into your envelope it will fit perfectly and then next for this piece here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sort of hold it where I need, where I want to put it, which is sort of centered in between this and this, and then just about uh, half an inch up. So again, I'm going to take my pencil here and I'm just going to do a light line. And then this part here is where I would put my adhesive. Now for our penguin pieces. Okay, so in your kit you'll have a little a piece of uh, a basic white cardstock and your penguin is probably already punched out for you, but you would need to stamp it. So. I'm using the Memento Black ink. Our penguin. Next, we are going to do his little bow tie. And we're using the misty moonlight for that. moonlight bow tie and while we have this ink out we're gonna stamp our present And 
do our sentiment. Clean our stamp. And now we're going to open up our fresh freesia. And we're going to do another gift. What I did for my first one is I went and put, I stamped little hearts onto the background. I would suggest you do this before sticking it down, but if you're like me and you forgot to stamp it, you can do it afterwards carefully. So I think that's good. And then finally, we're going to do the beak for our little penguin. This is the pumpkin pie that I'm using for, for the beak. Now we're going to open up our punch. I'm going to slip this guy through. Line him up. Note. So there's our little guy. We're going to stick his feet on there. This little feeder on. We are going to cut out our gifts and our sentiment. And then we are almost done with this card. Now what I like to do is I like popping everything up, so I'm going to end up popping all my little pieces up. So let's use, so we're going to put some dimensionals on our penguin guy here. I'm going to put it on his thing, so he has to hold the string. We're going to put a piece on the wing here. And I'm going to hold that down. And then put our dimensional on top of the string. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Stick my balloon on first. Well, it covers up one of our hearts, but that's okay. So there's our 
Now I'm going to trim off my baker's twine. I'm going to make sure his string sticks underneath his wing there. And then we'll add our little gifts. some rhinestones. I didn't have uh, any more of the blue ones for my sample, so I have these little orange ones, which I will just stick randomly. And then we have our happy birthday. And I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional, and we're almost done. So this was how I did the original card, and then I sort of, as an afterthought, decided maybe I would add a bow in there. So if you think you might like the bow then add it in if you don't like the bow then leave it out as you know my style of card I always like to put a bow somewhere in the card rarely do I not use any ribbon at all for my cards so that's just me so we're gonna add this bow right here you may want to trim the ends, make it a little shorter. I think I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. Oh, it wasn't perfect. And there is our finished card. Ta-da! And again, you can stamp stuff on the inside here. Um, just make sure that when, when the card is closed, it sort of covers. And so if you do want to put something on the inside, what you can do is take a pencil and lightly mark it. And then afterwards, you can always... Um, erase that pencil mark. So I'm going to stamp on the inside of this card and I probably should have done it uh, before. But this is a new stamp set that I just got. And I think I'm going to use this sentiment here. Of course it's not coming off. Come on. There we go. Oh, wait, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted the one that said friends. Come on. Okay. And I'm going to use the, the Misty Moonlight for the sentiment. So this one says, friends like you make this season special.
Oh wait, this is a birthday card. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't do that. <laughs> Let's see what it says here. Um, I don't have a sentiment for there. Um, Let's see if there's something else that might work. No, those are all Christmas ones. So let's find a birthday one. I'm so silly. Let's do this one. Let's do... So we're going to use a sentiment from the Pansy Patch stamp set and it says Wishing you a little extra happy, happiness just because you're you. I think that works for a birthday card, right? There, and it's perfect. And then we're going to take this dollar store pencil and we're just going to erase line that we drew earlier. And our card is all done. So thanks again for sticking around and uh, have an awesome Monday. And I have two more cards coming, so stay tuned.